Oh no, when I get to the live right now. Hey guys, oh, there we are. Welcome oh, to the show. How I still haven't got an invite. Hey, there it is. I'll watch now. <laughs> We are live, guys. Yes, Thanks we for are tuning live. in. So, Scotch for Dummies, um, kind of impromptu Scotch test dummies are on. Scott is, anyway. Uh, we may have another guest here joining us shortly. Oh, surprise. Surprise. Yeah. surprise. Yeah. Maybe, maybe even more. Um, yeah, who knows? I Actually, there might be two or three. But, is it the Pope? Um, <laughs> if it's <laughs> the Pope. <laughs> we're all drinking <laughs> sacramental wine. Yeah, we're, we're all going to hell. Oh, um, do I smell my hands? But, no, I don't want to smell my hands. <laughs> I'll I'll you Pull my finger. Uh, before we say anything, gentlemen. Happy Thursday, Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Man, it's been a long week and it's not even over, kids. This is good stuff, guys. Mm -hmm. What are we drinking, oh, man? Oh, my God. It smells good. Signet. Yeah. You will enjoy this one, sir. So signet. we just poured another dram of the Signet because that was our review for this week. So we wanted to have a glass of that uh, while we talk about it here in a few minutes. But And we need to drink it while Andrew's gone. And, and we, and, <laughs> oh. I hope he logs on or, in, in a little while. So Andrew's out of town, so he's probably hopefully in a hotel room getting ready to log on and, and uh, get mad at us for drinking he's all the right Signet. He's on right now. He just started commentating. Drink all can the I Signet. I saw your hands, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Heck sure. yeah, you can. Hey, <laughs> before we get too far, though, um, Selfie, what are you drinking tonight? So, Ooh, yeah. um, I know what we're drinking tonight. We're drinking Signet, at least to start. Well, uh, yeah, um, a little uh, something. We got to save some for Andrew. Yeah, okay. we got to save. And we, and we just committed to saving some for somebody else. So what are you drinking out there? Are you going to do this? Yeah, I got the Selfie. All right, we, you got the you Selfie. Got the on with us so far? Scott, you need to uh, – I got Scott's test dummies. What are you drinking? I got a lot of Well, like you say, this was a little impromptu on my end with you guys. Sure. So and, uh, what, what's you guys had the Glenn. Well, the only Glenn Morangy I had to share with you was last year's special edition, the Milshawn edition. Oh, that no, I mean yeah, just it. you know, <laughs> you make it sound so, like so it's, it's swill then, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. right. <laughs> well, it's not signet. <laughs> um and we get let's get this picture real quick. Found it on the bottom shelf of Piggly Wiggly. Yeah, it down at the pig, right? There we go. Right there. You ready? Piggly Wiggly. Who doesn't like the Piggly Wiggly, man? I love oh, the no. Piggly Wiggly. Um, so that's two Glen Ranges. I don't know what everybody else is drinking, and I don't even know who's online. I'm trying to look at the comments on my phone here, so I don't even know how many people are out there, but what are you drinking? Throw a picture on Facebook. We'd love to hear about it. Want to see the pic? Absolutely. Uh, oh, Telex says he's drinking. Signet. Signet. Of yeah. course you are. He, he commented earlier. Yeah. He was all excited about Good to drinking see you, Tell Alex. Yeah. All right, man. Um, before we get going too far, in, anyway, into the show also, uh, I wanted to go over – there's been a lot of stuff going on in the last couple of weeks. I mean, literally the last two or three weeks with the whiskey fabric has really been really kind of cool for me personally. I, we've had – how many collabs have we got going? We got a collaboration going on right now with Scott and, uh, and the Test Dummies, and hopefully there'll be a couple of other folks that jump on here. But um, we've had several, and we've joined several of their shows. And yep. It's just been a blast, and there's a lot going on. It's really fun. If you guys aren't subscribing to some of those other channels that we're trying to collab with, you're missing out. You're missing out on half the show, really. I mean, get over there, check out Whiskey and Six, Scotch Test Dummies, um, Bub and the Beard. Who am I missing? I, it, there's a lot going a lot. on. Aqua Vitae over in Scotland. If yep. You guys, he's only got a few videos. His up, videos are the best, but they're he's awesome. Just getting started. I mean, I'm, we need to push him to make more videos because he's got great ideas and he's a great guy and he's a connection in Scotland. For we should have him. Roy like is uh, Roy is quality over quantity. It, he, <laughs> he is. I mean, but how many times to have a friend in Scotland, folks? I'm he just telling. Like our, our, he should <laughs> like announce each one of us like Scotch test dummies. Yes, Scotch for dummies. <laughs> Whiskey in it. the six live. <laughs> <laughs> no, MC. Oh my gosh! But anyway, I wanted to, to throw the shout out to that whiskey fabric and, and and all those other channels of what's going on because there's a lot of great stuff going on. Cool stuff. I mean, some of yeah. these. Uh, Scott, you guys do bourbons too. I know whiskey in the six does bourbons. I think Bub and the Beer does bourbon. A lot of you guys do bourbons too. So you, there's you're talking about a bigger breadth of you know topic anyway. But there's. You, uh, Rob, Whiskey in the Six, tonight he had an ambassador on his show. It was awesome. I was like, that's yep. really cool. I love to see that. Um, jump on and make sure you guys are all capitalizing on, you know, what's going on. You don't have to jump on every time because that the, it, you might get overflowed. But, I mean, at the end of the day, jump on one when you can. I mean, I have we all do. We jump on. Yep. I'll get a notice on my phone. I'm like, what, what are Scott's test doing? <laughs> right? Um, Be so, involved. It's fun. Yeah. 
But anyway, before I talk too much, Scott, over Scott's Test Dummies, welcome to the show, brother. Thanks for joining a lot of impromptu. We, we well, contacted you like 10 minutes before we went live. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm always up. Well, most of the time, 95% of the time, I'm up for a live stream. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. Okay. <laughs> I not, like those odds. <laughs> I, that, that I hate to know the other 5%. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sounds a little weird, but uh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> We'll take you. Yeah. You guys got any samples you can send my way? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh my gosh, you guys. Nice. Um, <laughs> Mike's back there drinking your sample right now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that ain't cool. So, uh, you know what? You take over and talk for I want to catch up with see who's online, yeah, and what's going on, and uh, let's do a couple shots real quick, guys. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Oh, Hoagie's on. Hoagie, what's going hey, on? Hey, Hoagie. Welcome from Germany, Germany, brother. Yep. Cheers to you, sir. Yep. We got tell us. What's breakfast scotch today? <laughs> Andrew is on. We got Dram Dude. Robert Hammond is on. Andrew. Who, show. Who's Andrew? Uh, well, who's we got two dude? Andrews, actually. Oh, uh, good day, gang. <laughs> There's Andrew. Yeah. Are you talking about some other Andrew? Yeah. Andrew, uh, was it uh, Belky? Yeah, but I, I I thought you were talking about another uh, Andrew. Andrew, yeah, our boy's on as well. I don't see him. He's on. He's, he's sniping us because he's, he's, he's low mad. profile. He's mad man. we're drinking the signet. Um, by the way, Hope, we were talking about you and, and the samples that we uh, were thinking about for you. So we just haven't bought them yet. I mean, I can't bring myself to buy, buy the Johnny Red, Red Label. So uh, <laughs> I know it's hard for you to get over there. <laughs> you can buy them. He just unsubscribed. You can buy <laughs> right? I would. You can go buy one of those little airplane, airplane bottles, bottles of, of red. <laughs> <laughs> we'll send that to Scott. You know what they Family. probably don't have over in Germany that he should try is the OE. Oh yeah, you're right. They probably don't. I mean, right? we, and, and that wasn't one of the things that you had said that, you were kind of interested in. That, but that's some quality can... American stuff, right oh, there. Oh, okay. that's <laughs> what I'm thinking. Johnny Red from Hoagie. That's beyond blast. If you have any homies that are with us anymore, <laughs> you can even pour out a little. <laughs> Oh, so Hoagie's <laughs> drinking the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society at Glenrothes, which nice. that's a great intro. I want to talk to Scott about that. So we joined the yeah. – um, I joined the, the uh, Scotch Malt Whiskey Society back after we got back from Scotland because Drew and I were uh, invited by Roy Aquavite, uh, and we had an incredible Amazing. time. Amazing time. Loved it. Brought two bottles back, and I fell in love with this whole idea of independent bottlers joining the society. Tried to get their ambassador on the show. Hopefully, we can still do that. We haven't reviewed the bottles we brought home. But, Scott, I just saw you tweeted out uh, this week that you guys are now m members of the society. Yes, and looking well, forward to it. We've had two different bottlings, and both have just been outstanding. Let me ask you, where did you get the bottlings then, um, if you weren't a member already? Well, the um, – okay, uh, Whiskey with a View on Instagram is one of the, sort of an ambassador for him. So he invited or he wanted to do a live stream and talk about the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. So he arranged for them to send us a bottle, which we did, which they did, and that's what we reviewed on the show. Right. And and uh, what thirty five point one six two. What was the number? Thirty five point one six two. It was a 21-year-old uh, Glenn Moray, if I remember okay. right. Yeah. Okay. Sounds horrible. Right. So <laughs> oh, it's I, delicious. I it's, it's, it's really good. I do a little homework on my, my membership. So I printed out, you know, all the numbers, and I've got a cheat sheet at home. And then when I get the Outturn magazine, the, uh, which I just got September's uh, today in the mail, I, um, I go through and I write down, you know, what they are. Uh, the one thing I can say that I noticed is the prices are a little bit more expensive on, in the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society USA than they are over in Scotland, and, and I get it. You know, you guys got to ship that stuff over here. There's tax and, and all that good stuff, but um, you know what? Everything that Drew and I tasted when we were over there, I, I, I didn't have a bad one. Not saying they 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 can't make a bad one, but it was good, and I can't yeah. wait to break these. I, I really want you to taste these bottles. I know. We've only been waiting for, like, I know. three months. I'm and dying every, to break these Every time I see you, you're like, these are so good. I can't I, wait to drink them. Maybe, uh, what are you doing are. in November? <laughs> well, and that, that came up in our live stream about them because they're all cask strength. Yes. And they pay import taxes on the alcoholic Based content, on, yes. basically. So cask strength stuff, they pay more taxes to bring into the States. Which is absolute bullshit. I, that just pisses me because, I mean – 
They got to tax it somehow. I man. know, but I'm sick of You know what? I Before I get into the old agenda, Sean wants me to do a, a monologue, but this I tax. Do, but you got to have a curtain behind you. You got to bust out through it. I got to have like a sport coat on. Yeah. The tax topic is a good, uh, I'm, I'm going to skip to something. Uh, the trivia question of the week that I had um, leads into also the scotch in the news, but when was the very first excise duty levied on scotch and how much was it? So if we're going to talk about tax and, and why it hits us in the wallet when it comes to drinking this good stuff, anybody out there know when the very first levy on scotch whiskey was and how much that levy was? Put it in the comments and uh, we'll throw you a bottle hanger. Who knows? If you get this one right without using Google, maybe Scott will throw you a Scotch test dummy coin. Hell, I don't Ooh. know. I'm, I'm, I'm offering his stuff up to you. Nice. <laughs> I'm sure he likes that. He's like, wait, that's bullshit. I know. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, what samples you got over there, Scott? <laughs> <laughs> we, had a, we had a fan send us a bottle of Woodenville bourbon from... I want to say Washington, maybe Oregon. I think it's I think it's Washington State. And he said that the bottle cost thirty six dollars, and it was forty eight something with tax. And I was like, "Holy crap! That's time 30, to move. 30 some percent tax on alcohol. That's a lot. It's time to pack up and move. Yeah, I'm brother. not trying to <laughs> quit drinking. And yeah, but and then somebody out east just uh, told us too. They had a twenty. It was a twenty six or a twenty eight percent tax rate on on alcohol. I was like, holy awesome. crap! Now ours is the same. Whatever the sales tax rate is here is what the uh, it's the same for alcohol, which is I think it's seven and a half, maybe eight well, percent. It, but the thing is, is I, there's a federal tax, right? And then the the states ones are the ones that vary. So I mean, it it could be as high as well. You said thirty percent up there. That's I mean, crap. It, it is crap. And then you get into the other laws, you know, the blue laws. And here in Indiana, you can't buy alcohol on Sunday, which is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, come on, man! It's the twenty first century, for God's sake. I, I don't They're know still what. Still holding on to that thing. I'm yeah, I don't know what to go, what uh, what kind of laws you have you to deal with in Kansas. Food, but yeah. Uh, Travis Travis Faircloth just commented that the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society just released a nine year Glendronic. Uh, Lively as a squirrel is the name of that. So I'll I have didn't to, see uh, any outturns. I, I got my outturns today, and I didn't see that one. I did see a Highland Park that caught my eye. It was a twenty year Highland Park, and uh, you know it's it's a little pricey, but I was like, son of a. But I'm worth it. I, <laughs> just gonna throw that out there right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all worth it. Oh, so yeah, right we, are. we aren't just bumps on the logs. Yeah, right. But I'm just saying, you know. But you know what happens with his scotch? Uh, it gets drunk. We, we sit down here and drink too much of it. His scotch. <laughs> oh, now, he brings it over after you guys go home. <laughs> you dirty dog. I'm trying Where? to read comments. I have no idea what this Because normally it's in his bar and we never get to see it. Now, how do, let me ask you guys that because there's four of you. Do you guys buy a bottle and split it four ways, or do you each just take turns buying bottles, or whoever buys something you review? You know what? It's it's really pretty uh, haphazard, actually. It <laughs> really is. I mean, it depends on who's going to the store. You know, we'll we'll all throw some money up on the bar, so whoever's going, um, you know, up to a specialty store, we've got something in mind that we're saving up for. Uh, we'll all throw money towards it. But a lot of times, we'll just go, you know, buy stuff that looks interesting, and if it ends up on the bar, we drink it. Uh, We've there, got a kid really here. Isn't a, uh, um, we all decided to just join, our, become patrons of our own channel to start throwing money on our bar to don't help tell out. Don't everybody that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, so we, we throw money at it, you know, out of our own pockets when we can or whatever. But I, I don't know. I mean, I buy a bottle. Well, I'll go and I'll buy a bottle or two, and I'll, one will come over here. If it hasn't been reviewed, it usually comes yeah. over here. Well, unless it was guys, like uh, your other your other guests have come in. Hey, uh -oh. what's going on? What we got. Hey, like, guys. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> surprise, surprise. There we go. So we told everybody we're gonna we may have at least one or two other uh, surprise guests. So welcome to the show, welcome. brother. Thank you for coming. Um this is kind of really impromptu for everybody that's logged in watching our show. Um we've really not had a collab with Bub and the Beard yet, and so we just threw them an invite ten minutes before the show. <laughs> we got half of them. Um got half of them, that's right. <laughs> but we'll take half. Well, here's the thing. Uh, I have to apologize. The beard, he lives about uh, 30 minutes away. Right. And when you sent the thing, I, I hesitated for a second. 
That's why I said, give me a second, because I wanted to call him. And he said, I'll be right there. So he's on his way. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so you know what? Awesome. Well, then, with that being said, we're going to we're gonna oh. hold off until he gets there. What's up, guys? Rob is on as well. Hey. <laughs> it's a big party. Time out, Rob. We're going to hold off. Bubba, well, the, Bubba just joined. We're waiting on the beard. And then we'll let, let them do a formal intro to of themselves and everything. But... Uh, so we're going to stand down and wait because we're waiting on the beard. He's got to iron things out, I guess. I don't know. He's got to drive. I mean, yeah, he's got to drive 30 minutes. Um, but Rob, Whiskey in the Six. No video, Rob. We have no video. Oh, yeah. um, folks, if you guys don't know who Whiskey in the Six is, uh, this is go. him. Uh, he's up in Toronto. If you guys aren't subscribed to him, you need to because you just missed out on an awesome live show. That was a good show. Yeah, that was a good With live the show. Ambassador. Um, good Thanks, show, guys. Rob. Good show, bro. I enjoyed it. I don't know if you noticed, I logged on as myself with my phone, and I logged on as Scotch for Dummies um, on my computer, so I was trying to bump your numbers up a little bit. He's yeah, trying to catch good. both sides of the beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so welcome to the show, Rob. We got Scott from Scotch Test Dummies on. We've got Bubba from Bubba and the Beard. We're going to wait to introduce them formally until the other half gets there. So, guys, what's going on tonight? Well, well, I actually, I actually uh, uh, was, wasn't, wasn't expecting to come on, but my buddy had to bail early, and my wife was in bed, so I'm like, <laughs> sweet! And you've been <laughs> drinking all night? <laughs> Have, hey, how many hey glasses? Rob, you got, a, uh, you got an echo problem going on there. You might need some earbuds. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, he's had a few. <laughs> Definitely. He'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will say it's a little harder for us because there's four of us, and, you know, we talk a lot, Mark. And um, sometimes when we talk, we don't let you guys talk because it's Google Hangouts thing. So we're going to try and, and do self-checks to pause so you guys can say a word or two. So. Done. You're on. I'm, I'm just saying. You're that on. I'll drink. I'm going to drink too, though. <laughs> Wheelhouse. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you guys for the invite. That was we, I was just chilling out on the back porch, uh, drinking some uh, of the new Abenad, uh batch fifty eight, and got the message. And I was like, "Yeah, let's do it." Well, all right. So let's talk about it. Uh, you got here a little bit late. You missed the let's take a selfie and put it on the Facebook. What you're drinking? But you just told us what you're drinking right now. So you said it was Abenad batch fifty eight. Yeah, I believe that's the newest batch. Tell us a little bit about it, man. What's going on with that? Uh, it's 61.1%. Um, it's, it's obviously cast strength. Uh, this is one of the, I don't know if you guys have watched many of our videos, but we're big barrel proof fans, big cast strength fans, and we tend to not water a lot. I mean, we do on occasion, but, uh, we, we like the burn. Uh, this one, however, <laughs> this one, however, is so much better with a little bit of water. Um, not that it's bad without. But it's just it has it, it, it's growing on me more and more. I have two bottles of it. Put it that way. I bought a second bottle. Good for you. You know that's a kind of it, it leads into a comment that I made on Rob's show earlier when he had that Balvenie ambassador on. They were talking about airing a bottle out. You know, you open a bottle up, you drink a, a couple drams out of it, sits on your bar. Come back a couple months later, you drink a couple. But and. and over time, the bottle changes. I think water does the same thing. So to me, there's two different sweet spots in a whiskey. Number one, how much is it oxidized? And number two, how much water have you put on it? What the hell is that? You definitely have to, uh, you definitely have to water apple pucker. Yeah. <laughs> that makes me want to throw up. But so, I mean, some, some whiskeys you don't want the water. Some, there's a sweet spot where you do. I mean, honestly, there's – the thing is, well, this one, find it, like you I drink it. Yeah, like I said, this one's uh, it's so full of flavor. It's almost like uh, an overload of flavor without water. And then when you add a little bit of water, you get to find all the nuances. And I, I, I really like it. I think it's great. I don't know. Each way, we, we put water on every one of our reviews just to stay consistent. But yeah. there are times, there are times, guys, when well, I mean, literally, I'm holding the water going. This is gonna kill this. Oh, you know it. I mean, <laughs> but you know what? I don't do that. There have been some times where we put a little water on it and we're surprised by it. That's true so, too. Yeah, but you, you never know. I, it's a game. I think, but you got to I think I think you always have to try it neat 
and you always have to yep. try it with water and then you know you know if you don't like it with water then just go back to neat but you know if right. two splashes of water was too much then one is good but i think you always try it neat and then you always try it with water yep. i agree, I agree. yep yeah and that's exactly you always add more whiskey <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i like that <laughs> Did you say we need more whiskey? Why don't you open this up and pour a little more? Uh, Andrew, <laughs> I, I already drank all that. I was just looking back there to see what else I was going to have. Well, so, you know, real quickly, though, this was the review we did. Yeah, this week. let's talk about this real quick. I thought this was one of the most amazing ones I've had in a long time. I think we all gave it three fives, right? Yeah, and I think this one was probably knocking on Forest Door. I it mean, was. seriously. <clears throat> uh, and I don't know how I feel about that saying that our only other four is an NAS, and then this one would be, you know, it's close to a four, and it's an NAS. But at the end of the day, it, this thing's not – it might be an NAS, but most of the juice in this is 20-plus years old. I mean, yeah. it is what it is. It's complex. So yeah, who cares if they didn't put an age on it? I don't know. It's damn good juice. I know that. Yeah. Um, there were a ton smooth. of comments, though. I didn't. We should pull the comments up from the review just to see what people were saying. But I know there are other folks out there that are drinking some right now, so, you know – What's tell us comment. Say yeah, what do you this? say about this this signet? Tell I know he's I drinking. Know that. Rob, he says it's four out of five. He just commented as you guys were saying. Yeah. That. He said four Signet. out of five. Our scale Signet is one good to four. Stuff. Yeah. So Rob, what do you got to say about it? I, you know what? I like it. I liked it. Um, I expected a touch more, but that's probably because my expectations were through the roof. Um, and and the the other issue with that is I split that bottle between four other guys. So we, we took care of it very quickly. And, and we, like I find with the older scotch, you need to give it a little bit of time to open up. And, and that's not just time in the glass. That's time opened up in the bottle. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Sure. And that's what we were talking about. You were talking about with the Balvenie Ambassador earlier on your, your uh, live channel. Um, mm -hmm. Just like your Glen Goyne. Isn't that what it is? Uh, you got a Glen Goyne behind you that, uh, you know, you yeah. got – a two or three drams left in it and now it's finally hit its its miracle spot and it's like yeah as soon as, as as soon as we logged off we actually my buddy and i just finished that up. It's, oh. no, it's ridiculously good that a boy <laughs> whiskey in the five whiskey we, in the four mark and i did that last week <laughs> yes, we did. Uh, it was 2 15 before we realized what time it was i'm like i didn't go home <laughs> My wife asked me the next day, she said, so what time did you get home? Did the floor just look good? And I'm like, I must have. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, it's just, it to your house. Street. What are you complaining right, about? The street. <laughs> Seen it a hundred times. Um, <laughs> well, we're, we are short one dummy now. He is online yeah. with us. We'll miss you. But Andrew also gave this one, which is kind of, I, I need to get a whiskey and come up. I'm going to say, which is not normally his wheelhouse. Uh-oh. Okay. I'll but, drink to um, that. I don't have anything, I don't have anything either. <laughs> Yes. Do we all have to drink, or is it just you guys? All of you. Oh, no, yeah. everybody's got to drink when we say but the house. Uh, <laughs> you I don't know get something. Got left What's um, the other loot you get with Sherry? What's that one? What is that? What? Sean what? gets it. What is it with Marzipan. Sherry? Marzipan. Are you getting mar marzipan? Go ahead, drink <laughs> Not right one. now. My glass is empty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. You know, these guys all have a phrase that goes with their scotch that they taste or they, they smell. My phrase is just, I'm a scotch whore. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there's nothing wrong with that. I, no, you know, I just had, I mean, I'm not saying, I, you know, I don't, there's one out there that I don't like because I know there's Ooh. at least one I don't like. It's that Korean scotch that? blue. Ugh. But uh, there's a time and place for every scotch, I think, really. Um, I don't know. I, this is not, I hope this doesn't come off as weird, but I really, really like Bubba's hat, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different color tonight, Six. It's a different That's color. It. Yeah. You seem, to have, you seem to have a little collection. We should, like, we should like all have each other's merch, and like every show we all wear <laughs> whiskey to six on Scotch <laughs> Test Dummies and four dummies. And... I didn't want to. I, I didn't want to be that guy, but I was in a hurry. I just grabbed a hat, and this was the one I grabbed. <laughs> So, what sample did Rob send you to wear the hat? Just a little bit. Uh, uh, we we have arranged samples between the two of us quite often. Uh, yeah, so kidding. numerous I, numerous samples. I actually told Rob I was gonna buy one of his hats. I haven't done it yet. I, I owe him one, so I'm gonna have one on our show soon. 
So you know what? I, I just thought of curiosity. I gotta shut up. Has anybody answered the trivia question this week? What is it? What is it? So when was the very first <clears throat> excise duty levied on on a scotch, and how much was it? I, I didn't see anybody comment with it. Okay. Uh, I've been watching them somewhat, but well, I have You know what? I, it, it's wait, impossible. It's not impossible. There's Google for this. Does it involve livestock? So I feel no. like some like um, one chicken per barrel. So or? I, I tell you what, it's a lead into the to the scotch in the news segment. I, I did a little, you know, Google on uh, on scotch, find okay. out what's talked in the news right now about the the scotch industry, and there was an article about excise tax uh, on scotch, and there was a cool Robert Burns poem. I see what you're pouring, you freaking. <laughs> There's a cool poem by Robert Burns that he wrote about mm. the excise tax and. and how tax on, on whiskey in Scotland has changed over the years when it started and all this. And so that's where I got the trivia question. I mean, honestly, if you want the answer, just go out to Google, type Scotch, and look at the news tab. It's in the first article. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, right? Go do that. So the, the other thing that I wanted to talk about, and I didn't have the news, the article pulled up, though. When I looked in the, in the news, news in the Scotch, um, I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with the Scotch Index. So there's a Scotch Whiskey Index out there that you can invest in, just like the NASDAQ, or the S&P or whatever. Um, and the article was talking about the uh, it tracks the top 1,000, most 1,000 wanted Scotches. Uh, and it's went up over, I think it said 41% in the last year. I mean, it's just going through the roof. And there's actually... Uh, there's a few exchanges out there where you can invest in Scotch whiskey without actually, you know, buying a barrel, without going to an auction house. You can it's like invest, pork bellies. Yeah, you can invest in. And I was like, man, it's it's getting crazy, because uh, the industry is just it, they're making more whiskey than they ever have, but there's still a shortage of old whiskey, and that's the problem. So if you want a, something to invest in, I don't know. I'm curious to see what people have to say. Are, are any of you investors in – do you guys collect? Do you guys go out to, to auction houses? They, they, the article <coughs> said that the most uh, – that the highest auction bottle this year was a McKellen – I don't even know, McKellen. The, the lilac or the, the – lilac Yeah, or and it went for 65,000 pounds. And I was like, hot damn, you know? I mean – read that article. Don't change. Chump change. I wish if it were chump change, we wouldn't be talking about this real <laughs> camera right now, brother. I mean, we'd be out of my yacht, right? I, I feel like we'd be drinking more expensive scotch. <laughs> <laughs> You're buying, right? Yeah, yeah. Did yeah. <laughs> you hit the lottery? I wish I did, boys. I, I wouldn't be sitting here. Um, oh, the, guys, the guys that spend that money uh, have that in their couch cushions. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> what a problem to have, right? <laughs> All right, so Hoagie got the right year. You're halfway home, Hoagie. How much was the the uh, the tax? What was the year? Sixteen forty four. I still say chickens. You still say chickens? <laughs> Most yeah, he, right. says, he says thirteen point three p per gallon. I I don't know how to do the conversion rate. So I, I, the, what I have is not in pence. It's in it's in something else in pence. I don't know. I'd how say to... Hoagie Bear wins. Hoagie Bear wins. <laughs> uh, or yep, Hoagie Bear wins. <laughs> how many pence are in a shilling? For God's sakes, I don't know this crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys just. <laughs> oh my gosh. How are you gonna buy scotch unless you know that? Exactly. I don't know. Um. All right, Hoagie. So you win. You probably already have a bottle hanger. Thanks for playing, ruining it for somebody else. I guess we owe you a few. Maybe we'll right. throw you in I a sample we... from Mark's bar. Ooh, that's a great <laughs> idea. Hey, <laughs> dick. <laughs> <laughs> you can have the sample that I'm not getting to drink. We, we actually owe some stuff anyway, so we'll include that in our next shipment. There you go. No. So what's up, guys? Are you guys drinking anything else? What's new? I'm drinking Glen Goyne 10 year old right now. It's awesome. Honestly, anything Glen Goyne is amazing. I agree. You like the Goyne, huh? No, so, no. Rob, have you considered joining um, the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society? I know that uh, the test dummies just joined uh, lately. Are you into the independent bottling, or, or do you do you follow it? Are you interested in the independent bottlings, or you know what? I, it's something I haven't dabbled in too much. I have a um, a Gordon and McPhail Linkwood Fifteen behind me over here. I don't know if that would even be in the same. It's an independent bottler, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, but I, the problem is with me joining these types of things is I'll never be able to enjoy the fruit of my uh, membership because they, we can't ship anything to Canada from Scotland, from the U.S., from legally anyway. So <laughs> that's what we arrange. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's when that's when I get Lloyd to drive up uh, to Ontario to give me some stuff. That's <laughs> I'm picture like a bootleg liquor run, right? What? What's that? What was that? Moonshiners? <laughs> Ra whiskey, Ra whiskey. Oh, yeah. Here comes Lloyd. <laughs> Woo! We meet him in Buffalo. That's it. <laughs> that works. Start throwing stuff across the river. <laughs> <laughs> across Niagara Falls, he's got an arm on him. Uh, no, yeah. we we have a drone. We just drone it across. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the twenty first century. Yeah, what yeah. are we talking about throwing drone. shit? He's got a drone. <laughs> that works, man. Works for like Amazon. That. Hell yeah, it does. <laughs> but I know that uh, Scott, you just you guys just joined the society. So, what other kind of independent bottlings that you guys have on your bar? What have you guys reviewed as far as independent bottlers? I mean, obviously the the Gordon Fails are probably the mo most popular, easiest one to get. But what else you guys got out there? You know, that's funny that that Rob's got that one because we've got that same one as well. That fifteen year Linkwood from Gordon and McPhail, which we haven't reviewed yet. I've got it, and the bottle may be gone before we get around to reviewing it. <laughs> yeah. but, nice. Back to, I'll lot. tell you. Glenn Goyne just showed up in Kansas. It was not being imported. Uh, we've had the 12, the 15, the 18. Interesting. And a sample of the 25, which were all delicious. And uh, they finally just started. Last week, I was in my liquor store, and all of a sudden, they had Glenn Goyne 10, 12, and the cask strength on the shelf. So I picked up the cask strength for 70 bucks. Damn which, right you did. <laughs> which is outstanding. Uh, okay, that's a great buy. Um so our review of that will be coming up maybe sometime, hopefully in the near future. But well, I think we reviewed a, a, Glenn, a Gordon and McPhail Mortlock 15, I think it yeah. was. And it was delicious. <clears throat> we, we thoroughly enjoyed it. Yes, that is exactly what started the burnt, burnt toast. toast. I mean, that's, <laughs> yes. that's what this is from, that, that bottle. Yeah. Um, it was tasty stuff. Yeah. That, that was our first introduction to an independent bottler, I think, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. And then we've gone on to some cat, uh, creative whiskey uh, – that's, company delicious. I was just eyeing that. that one back there. I had a couple of those. Um, I think it's yours. I get the, well, I'll tell you one of the best I've had, and they're still there's some around. They're high. There's a, there's a Gordon McPhail Speyside McAllen's, and they did a release every year. But literally, one of the best scotches I've had was a 38 year old McAllen from Gordon McPhail. Right. Distilled and it was a 1971 edition. It, just delicious. And the guy that gave me the sample. When those bottles were first released, is a 38 year distilled in 71. So it was like 2009, 2010 when those were on the shelf. He was paying three to four hundred dollars per bottle, and he would buy every one he saw. And several, it was probably three years ago when he gave me my sample. They were going for like eleven, twelve hundred dollars, and you can't even find them now. No, and ironically enough, Gordon and McPhail has a is it, i don't know if it's a bottle or it's a cask. barrel it's a cask of mckellen older than what mckellen has really yes they actually gordon mcphail owns an older cask of mckellen than the damn distillery does <laughs> wow that's, that's crazy that is crazy you know when are they going to open that right? they're not they're just going to sit on it just just to hold it over mckellen's head <laughs> right there's probably nothing in it. It's dried up. <laughs> it's like 200 it's like years solid. <laughs> this is good stuff. Have some Rob, what do you think about that 15-year Gordon McPhail Linkwood that you got? It's good. I mean, the, I, I've only had a couple. That's actually from Trini, – Trini and C sent me that bottle, to be honest with you. Um, so I've only tried one, one sample from it because I'm a little concerned that they contaminated it with their uh, biological uh, – <laughs> logical huh? well i didn't want to i didn't want to be explicit on your show mark so <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're not gonna offend us i, I promise you know it's, it's don't worry about our to, show you worry about your own it, yeah it's hard to keep up with the chat i mean there's just the the, the comments go too damn fast no try to see our good guys they actually sent me that, that link but it's actually really good i like it it's it's um it's probably a large portion first fill sherry, in my opinion, but I could be wrong. 
Right on. So you know, I'll tell you, a while back though, we had the North Shore Whiskey Club, and they're in uh, Massachusetts. But one of uh, one of the favorite bottlings they'd ever had, it was an independent bottler as well. And I can't, I, I mean, right now I can't tell you off the top of my head what it was. But just to go, just to show you the strength of some of the independent bottlers that are out there, you know, like I said, one of the best ones I've had was from Gordon McPhail. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the best that they've had was was this other independent bottler. But I mean, there's a lot, a lot out there to to explore. Yeah, I um I tweeted out from Scotch for Dummies. Uh, this got to be over a month ago. There's a, a a woman in Scotland. I think her name's the Whiskey Chick. Yep. The Whiskey Chick or the Whiskey Lady. Um, her blog, right? Uh, yeah, and she does a, a really. She's got some good information. She's got a, a blog going on. Um, and she did a, an article, a blog about independent bottlers, and it was just really informative. I was like, man, this is just a great one-stop shop article. And so I tweeted it out. It's Facebook people. page too. Is it? Mm -hmm. uh, but it, it lists all the independent bottlers that are out there today, you know, and a little information, how long they've been around, what they're into, what they're doing. Because um, I had absolutely no idea. I knew Gordon McPhail has been around forever. But um, like the Creative Whiskey Company, they're pretty young. They're, yeah, they're pretty very new good. to the game. Um, Cadenhead's been around a long time. Yeah, Cadenhead's is the, honestly, it's the oldest uh, independent bottler in Scotland. I mean, they've been around since our early 1700s or something. I mean, they've been around forever. Yeah. But you know what? You walk into their liquor store in Edinburgh, and it's a room the size of this place. It's, it's, just, it's a little bitty, bitty place. And you know what we need? We need, a, awesome uh, we need a whiskey fabric cask. We do. Ooh, that'd be cool. Ooh, that's a good that'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> So. The, I like the way you talk. <laughs> so does that require us to go on a field trip to find that cast? Yep. <laughs> uh, well, some of them I know from talking to uh, Don Sutcliffe with the exceptional whiskeys, you can get samples sent to you from casks. So you can get like, he, he gets like 12, 15, 20 samples. And then so he'll just sit there and taste them and say, I want that cask. You know, I want cask 52, stuff like that. So you can get samples sent I to you. I do like I see, Cask 52. I see what you're saying. <laughs> I mean, let's, let's put a GoFundMe account for Whiskey Fabric and get this shit done. Oh, yeah, that would be pretty damn cool. And what we could do is, like, have a, you know, a ranking system of our favorite distilleries and then kind of go from there. That would, I think that would be cool. Because then at least, like, if we take a point system, then we would, you know, all pinpoint which distillery we like best. And then... We could we could put the distilleries against each other too. Like, well, we want yours. You want ours. Which one do you want? Samples. <laughs> Where is that fabric, uh, Bubba? Is that fabric at your guys' place? Yeah, we just finished filming with it. Uh, by the way, you can tell yes. somebody. Hey, hey beer. beer. Whoa, What's up, buddy? Wait, Cheers. Hey, basics. Wheelhouse. Just, um, you just gonna drink out of the bottle? I'm just gonna drink out. No, I'm not. <laughs> what are you, what's Hello. he opening? What are you opening, Beard? Uh, Glenfiddich 14. All right. We've done that. Yeah, that's doable. We've done yeah, that. Yeah, we uh, we have the fabric. Uh, or well, actually, <laughs> yeah, I didn't say it yet. It it's in a box waiting to be sent to the dummies. It'll be going out probably tomorrow, if not Tuesday. Right on. I watched you guys' this show. Uh, you guys did a collab with Rob. I don't remember if it was two nights ago. I think maybe I was in a yep. hotel in Kansas. I, don't know. I just saw you guys were on, so I logged on. Yeah. Um, yeah. But anyway, now that both of you guys are there, um, formal introduction to the show. So you guys, uh, for all our subscribers who are out there, if you guys don't know who Bubba and the Beard are, this is Bubba and the Beard. They're on the show. Um, Hello. Out. How are you guys doing out there in uh, interwebs land? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Bubba and I have been doing this since January 21st of this year, so we haven't been doing it too long. But uh, we've gained a lot of awesome people and talked to some really cool heads and whiskey heads and uh, getting invited to places that we probably wouldn't have had we not done this show. So having a lot guys of fun and wheelhouse. 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 How about that? Ah. <laughs> that, brother. We're having a lot of fun. Like I said, like he said, we we haven't been doing it for very long. We um, started out focusing mostly on uh, American rye. American whiskeys, bourbon, um, rye. He, he's a huge rye head. I'm a big bourbon head. Um, and uh, we've been uh, lucky lucky enough to make friends with the dummies and, and now you guys and Whiskey and the Six and uh, uh, others uh, who have enlightened us to the world of scotch. Um, so we're, 
we're, we're, we're slowly moving towards uh, being an all-around whiskey reviewer as opposed to just bourbon and rum. Well, hey, and I'd like to address that real quick because, yeah, you guys were doing a lot of bourbons and you've moved to scotches. The scotch for dummies started with scotch and they're still on scotch. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. We're not done yet. No. I mean, it's just a small island. You'd think we'd get through it by now. <laughs> we're drinking as hard as we can. We don't like it. We did. When, when me and Bart first started, we were, I mean, we were the scotch test dummies and that, that's what we did with scotch. And as we got to go on along, we're like, you know, we're in the States and all these bourbons are out here. And at first I didn't even really care for bourbon. I right. thought it was too sweet. You know, the corn right. was in there. I liked the nuances of scotch and we started doing bourbons and I mean, they've really grown on me. I mean, I don't know. I mean, just as many nights as I drink scotch, I'll grab a bourbon. There, there's a lot out there. That's, that's yeah. a lot to say because yes. I am totally with Mark in this one. I, I mean, I, I can appreciate bourbon, and I probably have not given it the, 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 I just the benefit like of the doubt to try. Well. And no. Interestingly enough, we are we are considering, you know, trying to open up our, a little bit in consideration. We're bringing a bourbon lover in to do it. You know, we're, I, I'm not going to make the leap into the deep end just yet. Well, he's got to convert me, and I don't know if that's going to happen, but <laughs> – like, well, it's like, not a live I think it'll stream. happen. It's not a live stream if you don't mention the bottle of Wow. Oh, yes. Wow. Where Elijah Ooh, Craig wow. Barrel Proof. That's the Wow? Okay. I don't know. Sean tried to convert me with a bottle of friggin' old Foyer, Forrester. What was that? Was Bottled and Bond. Bond. Bottled and Bond. And uh, we sat up oh, on a and, and killed <laughs> the bottle good? of the two of us. Yeah, and, we're uh, not open. Should have been dead, but <laughs> here we are. Oh, yeah. In my opinion, in my opinion, the Glenfiddich 14 is for if you're a Scotch guy and you're trying to get to a bourbon. I think this is a good start because they rest this in a they rest the Scotch in a, a spent uh, bourbon barrel, so kind of good, I good transition. I agree with you on that, uh, Beard. But I gotta be honest, that's why I didn't like that bottle. <laughs> 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 we tried it, and and a. I'm not saying I don't. I can appreciate, like Drew said, I can appreciate a bourbon. I honestly can tr take a, a sip of a bourbon and appreciate what the distiller did, what they're trying to accomplish, and and credit them on that. It just doesn't hit my palate, you know. Um, just like some scotches, you know. There's some scotches I still give them a decent rating because they did what they were trying to do. They accomplished what they were trying to accomplish. It's just not my wheelhouse. <laughs> or at least you're one glass <laughs> closer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will House. Uh, we um, we started with bourbon and rye because that's what we knew the best. Um, but now our motto has become: drink all the whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> drink well, that's all a tall order, brother. <laughs> beard, Bob and Beard. Did you have you tried this? Yeah. Hey, Bob. If you guys, if you guys get, what do you think of this? I just they poured me a double rye. No. Is that the fire. double or is it High West Whiskey Campfire? No, we have not tried the campfire yet. We've had the double rye and, and the boo rye. rye. Yeah. yeah, so I didn't even know this was on the bar yes. here, and I saw him like, what is it? And um, straight rye, bourbon whiskey, and blended malt scotch. And I was like, what? And Mike's like, well, it's peated. you got to try it, which, you know, I mean, if you say the word peat, I'm probably pretty interested. So <laughs> You're I, it, it is, yeah, I mean, this can't be a, a far leap. It's not bad. I can still taste a little bit of that sweetness of bourbon, yeah. but... Um, it, I think this is closer to a, a halfway point than the, the Glen Fittick, uh bourbon one. I, I don't know. It's been so long. No, I, got you I remember Have now you when you explained big... what all was in that one. We tested Go that ahead. one. But uh, the Boo Rye has been my favorite of the High Wests. But that campfire came off to me like it was confused. I mean, it didn't know if it wanted to be a rye. It didn't know if it wanted to be a scotch. It didn't know if it wanted to be a bourbon. I can see that. I can see that, Scott. Yeah, I mean, it's like the three are thrown in there, and instead of blending together, they just stand alone. And so you get rye, bourbon, and scotch, and it's yeah. not cool. Yeah, yeah, hmm. I can I can appreciate it. What was the other one you mentioned though? It was a boo rye? What was that? Yeah, the boo rye. It's one of the uh, limited offerings from them, and I think it usually runs ninety to a hundred dollars, and it's just a combination of bourbon and rye. Is it the uh, allocated one? Yes. Hard. It's just, that's 50-50, right? Uh, I'm not sure on the mix of it. Yeah. 
It's hard to get. So it's been, that's, that's, been, that's been my favorite, though, of the High West. So Interesting. <laughs> it sounds expensive. I mean, I, I don't know how old it is, but $90 to $100, is that, do you think that's a good value for that? I don't know. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it. I thought it was worth it. And I think it's all like 11 and 13 and maybe some 15-year-old whiskeys. When I think High West, I think BC Bud, so it's a little different. <laughs> Yeah, you would. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, man! <laughs> tell us want to know. So tell us want to know. So we get the whiskey expo coming up. We'll let you guys talk about that. Yeah, that's he true. wanted to know um, if uh, Brickladic was going to be there. And they were last year. They were the they, they were pouring the black art. They uh, they had all kinds. Oh, of that's stuff. right. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah, so, I'm uh, sure they will. Uh, you know, if you're close enough to come, the the whiskey expo is. They pour a lot of hook. really nice stuff. Uh, and, There's a lot of and if they know who you are, they'll pour you a little something extra. That's uh, true. I think we killed the king last year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they poured us about a half bottle of that. I mean, so we've got that coming up the October 13th. 13th. Um, we'll be shooting live from the Whiskey Expo here in, in Indianapolis. Um, we're encouraging anybody that's within distance of getting here to come. It's a great experience. We did it last year. Um I, they, they've got hundreds of different whiskeys that they pour. They even had a couple gins uh, that were, and they had obviously a ton of bourbons and, and scotches. And We were eating uh, raw oysters with Ardbeg poured over the I top know, of. Ardbeg was pouring <laughs> their, their latest Ardbeg offering over raw oysters, and it was really good. Oh, uh, no, that does. That sounds really good. It was. <laughs> and they had a virtual tour. You put on the, the goggles, and you do a virtual flyover there, distillery and stuff. It was really cool, but um, we'll be – We'll be doing a live show from there. Um, hopefully, we need to coordinate with all the guys, other channels that you see on this channel. But hopefully, we'll be doing uh, part of our live with guests from the Test Dummies, from Whiskey in the Six, Bubba and the Beard. Love to get Octavite from Scotland. Um, we, we need to coordinate what we're going to, you know, our time frames. But we're hopefully going to keep a live show running that whole time. I don't know, two, two and a half hours, something like that. Yep. Um, we're going to have some ambassadors on going to do some live reviews hopefully we're going to pull some people out of the crowd and just have them come up and review something to, yeah to see you know how they what they think about something but really love to see as many people as we can get on uh online for that there is time. there is a limit on how long you can live stream on youtube but i think food quig has tested that out <laughs> <laughs> what is it <laughs> I don't know. He's, he's had. I know he's had a five and a half hour live stream, so it's at least that long. <laughs> I think we're like two hours, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty sure at one point he fell asleep. <laughs> he he fell asleep. Out. He fell asleep live. <laughs> uh, is odd. he online tonight? Is he on with us? That's funny. Oh, I, love I haven't seen him commenting. <laughs> oh, that guy is hilarious. Has anyone has anyone perfected the quig? I, I can't. I'm working on it. I spill. I spill every. I slosh yeah. every time I try. What are you talking about? The, 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 the spinning the whiskey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, called the, you can't say it's spinning the whiskey. It's called the quig. The quig. <laughs> I'm not trying it. I'm not wasting am good I, whiskey. Am I getting nah. close? No, I guess. I think I did it all right. I'm all spilling in my mouth. <laughs> 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 so that's gonna work right there. Oh my god! And do you guys try the the Goin Ten? The Glen Goin Ten? Yeah, yeah, I think we reviewed it. Yeah, we reviewed, yeah, we reviewed it. That it was one of our earlier. Yeah, it's been many ones. So yeah, it, it's really a really decent cool. entry level whiskey. Yeah, from what I remember, it's been a while since we've had it. But we've had yeah, two Glen Goin. The second one we did was amazing. The first one was like okay. We did an I orange and a, and a silver. Can if I remember right. Yeah, let me look I was hoping to get a hold of that Glen Glen. Was it twenty five or thirty that whiskey and six is getting? I, I mean, I would be great if you'd send us a sample. <laughs> hey, like, like this? You mean like this one? We had <laughs> Oh shit! Don't do that. That's killer. <laughs> <laughs> we just killed the bottle. Like this what? Mm-hmm. Six and I. Six and I us. We, we whiskey go way back. Yo, box sample. <laughs> I know. I'll wear a hat from Whiskey to Six if he's gonna send me. Right? <laughs> yeah, six, six sent us or er, six arranged for us with the drone to uh, have, have procure this. To us. Yeah, procure this to us. <laughs> this too here, hold that up. Oh yeah, that big one. And that the uh, uh oh, hey, how you doing, Six? You haven't seen that one in a while. Yeah, the uh, yeah. Metal. Honestly, I love that stuff, man. That's good stuff. 
I don't know. What are you doing? I can't see the screen. I know. What was he it talking about? It was Glenn Fittick IPA. Glenn Fittick IPA. It's Glenn, uh, Glenn Fittick IPA. Here, I'll hold it up. Hold up. Here, Here there, it there it is. Glenn Fittick IPA Experimental. It's only available in Canada. Canada. Canadian. <laughs> it's the Canadian's fault. It's not their fault. That's what I say. Terrence and Dylan, I fought it. <laughs> so on Rob's show earlier tonight, he had above any ambassador, and somebody joined the show and said, "Hey, hosers!" And you know, I was like, "Hey, what's up, right?" Well, Aquavita is from Scotland. He's like, uh, "I don't know what a hosers. I may be one, right?" What's a hoser? <laughs> <laughs> right. So I was like, "You need to watch, you know, Strange Brew, Strange Brew, right? Brew. yeah." And, and nobody Crazy. gets. So he finally says, "Okay, I think I understand." He goes, "Well." What's a, a fun American phrase for a Scotsman? And I didn't put it on there because I didn't want to offend him, and I would, would have just been joking anyway, but I was just going to say, a drunk. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, yeah. I, mean, I, I, I said that's Irish. That's Irish, That's an Irishman, yeah. yeah. So I, I don't know. Do, does, America, do, does America have a, a, a name, a nickname for a Scotsman? Like a hoser is a Canadian? I, I don't know. Do you know? Not that I can think of. I, I don't know. A I wee man. Bad. He's a, a wee man. A wee man. A wee man? Yeah, a wee man. He's a wee. Scotland, Scotland guys are wee. They, they say wee a lot for a little bit here. We, wee. This is a wee, wee they man. Do, do they, they do say that. <laughs> a wee bit. Man. It's a wee bit. <laughs> All right, we'll start a wee bit. A wee man. I don't know. That'll work, I guess. Right? Sorry, Roy, if I offended you. Cheers. Yeah, he's <laughs> already no, no. told me tonight he's gonna watch us tomorrow and drink. With yeah, us. he's gonna be pissed at us. So. Roy, yeah, Roy's an awesome. I'm Mark. pretty sure. No, no, no. Roy's awesome. Um, actually, I'm, I'm pretty trying... sure Roy hates me the most. I'm trying to push What'd him. Would you to call do him the night uh, Irishman? Or I said he. I said he was British. Yeah, I, I, don't British. Know, I, I didn't direct it at him. I just meant like in general. There's Jason whiskey wise, so I was. I, I just. I don't know. I, I I guess I lumped him into the British category. <laughs> uh, that was offside on my part. I oh, I apologize. Wow. Them yeah. fighting words right there. Yeah, he's gonna be pissed at you for a while. Man, he's, he's gonna, gonna pull the kilt down and whoop you. He's gonna William Wallace me. Is what he's gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh man. Hey, six, six. We got to tell you, six. Uh, this Glenn Going cast strength that you sent us. It's rock and roll, baby. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Just rub it in. Yeah. Salt wound. Hey. Right <laughs> <laughs> well, no, all, what we're saying is we, we only had it to do the review, so we drank it during the review, and the remainder's been sitting since the review, which is probably about a month. Month, month ago, a month. month and a half ago. Um, and we we just kicked it. It's it, kicked. We killed this Glen Glen cast it, drink. So it's uh it's amazing. It's great. It's heaven. I like I like to call it a party starter. Yeah. Oh, yeah, especially wow. with that ambassador from uh, where was she from? Balvini. Balvini. Yeah. Balvini. yeah. <laughs> now that was a good show, and and I gotta agree with you, Rob. Glenn Goyne, they 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 make good juice. I mean, yeah, they do. Honestly, I think their entry level is probably par for the course. So so, and it's an entry level, but I think above that, it's good stuff. I felt that way about a couple of uh, distillers. I remember the Glenn Grant. You know, I was like, Glenn Grant, oh, Glenn Grant. And then we brought home a Glenn Grant 16. It was like, oh, this the 50 is good yeah. Oh, yeah, and then we had. <laughs> yeah. Hey, by the way, oh, wheelhouse. before I forget, oh, yeah. Rob, I don't know if you saw the, the comment uh, on your show the other night. Me? Oh, yeah, yeah, you. You. You, um, you're the other Rob. You played out, yeah, the other Rob. <laughs> you played out the the song that Bubba and the Beard wrote. Oh, that for was you, awesome. The banjo song that they wrote. For you. you played you it as they were put out the uke song, and I was like, "Way to uke it out, man!" That was. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they read it to me. They read me the comment. And I just didn't get to see it because I didn't have my uh, comments. Pulled oh, out. it was awesome, dude! I loved it. <laughs> Good stuff, man. Not everybody can pull off ukulele. No, it takes a special guy to pull well, off. Well, we haven't we haven't had a ukulele song tune tonight. Do uh, you got anything in store for us? Is that uh, the, um, here we go. While, he, while he's getting that uke, I just got to say that's a that's a sexy hat beard. That's, that is a super yeah. sexy hat. It's almost as sexy as my six hat, but uh, I left it at home. <laughs> that's got the uke on. Check him out. Hey, it's done. Well, it's a Thursday night and 
we're drinking scotch with the scotch for dummies and scotch from the scotch test dummies and six. <laughs> And I, we're having fun drinking whiskey with a wine. <laughs> Bubba, Bubba and I, we like our whiskey with an E most of the time. We like our whiskey with an E. <laughs> That's totally off the cuff, just so you know. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna need Oh my god, that's I awesome! You know what I want? Dude, you brought a tear to my eye, my friend. <laughs> so, yeah, we're coming up. We got about five minutes on on our hour, and this and is where the wheels come off. Yeah, this the wheels is are starting to come off. I think the wheels are coming off. Um, that was pretty cool. That was oh. awesome. <laughs> um, but not much for us to uh, the, not many other things I want to make sure we we cover as far as uh, what's going on with us. But I do want to do a around the house um, and start with you, Scott. What's going on with the test dummies? Anything you guys got on your calendar up and coming that you want to definitely get out there and let people know about what's going on? No, nothing major. I mean, we've weathered the, the summer storm, uh, the, the June, July, August slowdown, and uh, nothing really big planned. We got done with the 16 bourbon shootout and the 12 hours of boom and still really recuperating from that so no kidding in the fall <laughs> still trying to dry the liver out from that <laughs> yeah <laughs> well all right easy enough we'll throw it around um bubba and the beard what you guys got going on the channel uh that you guys want to make sure people know about you know you guys We're got not wearing any pants. we don't wear pants on our reviews no no pants. <laughs> i don't believe you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all you people are welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Visuals all around. You're but no, uh, for um, right now is a, obviously a slow time on YouTube, uh, but it's also a slower time for us. We try to do two videos a week, um, and we've held to that pretty good since January. But I am a uh, youth football coach, and it's football season, so we went down to one video a week for the season. And, and what, uh, is one of these youth football teams are undefeated? Yeah. Oh, nice. Have they played nice. this? Yeah, pretty yep. good. Pretty good. So, uh, that being said, uh, we're only about five, six weeks away from the end of season, and that is when we are going to start. We're doing a, a giant Bubba in the Beard barrel proof bourbon bracket. So, we have about yeah. 20 barrel proof bourbons, and we're going to do a giant bracket. Um, uh, obviously, a nod to the dummies for starting the whole. Well, I don't know if they, 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 for, they started it for us, the whole. Uh, shootout uh, scenario, the, the the bracket type scenario. Yeah. And, well, are you guys are you guys going to do it all in one day in one? <laughs> yeah. 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 You're going to need Rob, a pair of pants. Part, I was like, let's just do them all. <laughs> the bracket of boom. <laughs> probably we probably we probably will be like you said because we're dumb. Yeah, we'll do them. We'll you do them all. Those brackets beforehand. Go, hey, uh, we're going to watch these guys progress to get stupid. <laughs> so you've already got a comment that you need to post the brackets before you start so that people can get a hold of uh, some of those bourbons and see what they think about them. Yes, we, we, we plan to. We're going to – now, we're a barrel-proof bourbon for us isn't necessarily a, a, a summer dram or even a late summer dram. So we're, we're looking to – we're probably going to record or – Hopefully fill. where snow's on the ground. We yeah, like, we, so that way we can go lay in it. We want, we're going to film it. <laughs> Pass out in it, lay in it, tomato, tomato, With no pants on. We're yeah, gonna, yeah, definitely yeah. no pants. We're going to film it, film in the fall and then uh, hopefully release it in late fall or early winter. Well, that sounds fun. Yeah, send, make sure you send out a – I think a, uh, the other night on Rob's show you had mentioned after the, the football season because you would mentioned that that's kind of, you know, life's getting in the way a little bit of reviews anyway. You had mentioned that you guys were going to you, – your goal afterwards was – uh, a review, seven reviews in a week or something? What, am I making that up, or was was that? I said that, but there's no way that's happening. <laughs> that, was, that, was a, that was a funny joke. No, no, we're not doing seven videos in a week. Uh -uh. Well, we we did attempt, uh, and and the proof is out there publicly. So if you go watch our channel, you'll find it. Uh, we we did do the thirteen. We did 12 in one sitting, we, and one we didn't use because it was ridiculous. We're like, yeah. I, I was just but, say, we you go watch our eye test. That you know. one. I want to see that one. Well, hold on, hold on. So It's still here, there. Here's here's the thing. We did 12 consecutive film or reviews in, in one sitting, 
and the two last grams a piece in each video. The last one we did was a yeah. The last one we did was a hundred and seventy two proof whiskey. Oh, uh, yeah. down goes <laughs> beard. <laughs> if you go watch that video, like literally Bubba put a disclaimer on the front of that video. It's like it's all quiet. You have to read this whole like paragraph of like sometimes in the man's life. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you do, things you, you do things you shouldn't do, but we're gonna put this out there anyway. Ah, That's awesome. I want to. I want to see it. Check that out. <laughs> I gotta check it out. Wow. Watch, watch <laughs> this. Hold my beer. Exactly. <laughs> you guys are, you guys are true men because we, we, we try to bulk up on our reviews too because it's getting harder and harder to schedule. We did three, well, maybe four one night. And we're it's like, not okay, fair. you just can't do it. It's not <laughs> fair. To the cast strength. You're like, you the, can. By the fourth one, Andrew's like, blah blah blah. I'm going, huh? What? And you know, I'm like, you have to be uh, warm. But you were like that before we got started. So. Well, six six always likes to likes to say we can handle, you know, we he, we can handle it because we're bigger guys. I'm yeah. I'm, Bubba is eight foot and uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm I'm <laughs> we're giants in the land of big bone. I'm 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 six five about I'm six five about three. 20 and he's 62 six, six, about two. 260 yeah the normal size bottle <laughs> <laughs> that's a dalmore that's called breakfast it really is dalmore. it really is dalmore but <laughs> not normal size. not normal size no that's we, what you see me and bar we appreciate it yes thank, thank you for, thank you for having us all thank you guys hey, that was great man yeah, yeah, we yeah, love that's it that's great i mean this is part of the fabric we want to we want to start pulling everyone in and collaborating with everyone because honestly there's a lot to share there's a lot of knowledge there's a lot of fun and you know what rob you guys talked about this on your show earlier with the ambassador but we are all about whiskey is so much more fun together when you're sharing it Absolutely. in a social atmosphere we've always been about our channel is is bringing people up to our bar and having a dram with us whether you're virtual out there or sitting right here and we all have the same message you yeah. know what if you want if you like scotch watch our show maybe it'll help you buy something cheap or better for you right and yeah. if you're if if you're more of a bourbon head i'm you know we're pointing them to your your guys' direction, or this guy right here wants to get involved. I mean, honestly, He's thinking it, about it. We're gonna twist it, his arm. It doesn't much matter to me whether it's Scotch bourbon uh, or, or Canadian or Irish or, or Japanese. It, Don't you forget rye. Don't you dare forget rye. We <laughs> 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 Mark, Mark tries to forget rye sometimes. Uh, I'm not I gonna see lie. that. I see that. Yeah. <sighs> I, I try to keep Boom. stuff on my bar. It kills so. me, man. It's like a freaking death sentence. There you go, Beard. Oh, we love rye. We love rye. <sighs> anyway. Yeah. The bullet rye. It's good stuff. I just let this guy kill a bottle of Whistle Pig. So we, yeah. uh, I get a lot of flavor. complimentary bottles. <laughs> right. But it's it's all about, you know, it's, it's the social aspect. It's about it's sharing, it's about talking about it. You know what I mean? Uh, it's so much more fun enjoying a glass with a friend because you get so much more out of it. So... Thanks for joining the show. Short notice, you guys. Yeah, that was um, awesome. You know, it would have been cool if we could have prepped for this, but you guys were really cool with it and just jumped on. And it was like, <laughs> That's what live reviews hey, about, yeah, right? Exactly. So kind of impromptu, awesome. Can't wait to do it again with you guys. Rob, I want to throw it over to you. Um, make sure that you do a plug for Whiskey and the Six. Uh, you had an awesome show tonight, yeah. brother. You're, yeah, that was a killing great it. show. Good for you. What's going on with uh, Whiskey and the Six in the future? Um, well, Honestly, thank you guys for inviting me. I really appreciate the invite. Um, I didn't announce it on my channel tonight because it's still up in the air. I haven't signed anything yet, but I've been offered um, a contract from a company basically to start a whiskey group on this. I'm not going to say any names just yet, just because I haven't signed anything, but um, this the contract, <laughs> I don't know. I, honestly, He's a sexy I son of a... <laughs> <laughs> All I know is it's going to be fun. Uh, it's going to help out the channel quite a bit. And hopefully that means better whiskey to send to you guys eventually. Um, How do your uh, eighth graders feel about it? Um, well, <laughs> let's, let's hope they really? don't know about it. But <laughs> ultimately, at the end of the day, as long as they're not drinking, I'm happy. So. There you go. <laughs> In class. Uh, I, <laughs> I love it, man. <laughs> it cracks me up. Here we are talking about scotch, bourbon, whiskey, all that, and you're going to get up in the morning and go teach a bunch of eighth graders who are probably going <laughs> to some whiskey. Um, well, I, not not till Tuesday. We start on Tuesday. <laughs> you're not even in school yet? No, no, you're halfway done. Hell, yeah, my son's halfway done with the seventh grade. What the hell are you guys doing up there in Canada? <laughs> we, uh, 
we we have July and August off completely, and then uh, we start from September all the way to June. Okay. Yeah. So awesome show tonight. Um, love you. having you on our show, dude. We're, we we're having a great time. Scott, Bub and the Beard, Rob, all you guys, we're having Thank fun you guys. doing this. Thanks for including us. Thanks for being impromptu, being flexible, um, just being easy going guys that, that enjoy what we're doing. Um, if you were here, we'd pour you a glass of this. Absolutely. You know, if you were here, you'd have a glass of anything on the bar. Um, all of you guys got Facebook pages as well. We do. We want Except to plug Craig, those. Um, Craig, Craig 12. You're not giving up to Craig 12? No. Nah. Nah, he says he's not giving up to Craig 12. I, I give you the whole bottle. I don't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got some um, everybody's got facebook pages um twitter there's a couple different twitter handles mm -hmm. out there going right so there's what review crew rob you want to throw a plug for that yeah uh well review crew ah, i i'm uh i've always obviously had one too many tonight um, that's all right, brother. <laughs> that's all right <laughs> <laughs> everybody's golf <go> clap <laughs> it's re re review crew though i what? think it's just yeah, a bunch of uh, us are on Twitter. Right. Everybody you see here, um, we kind of have a private thing going on though. So I, well, I didn't know that's what that was. Yeah, so, it's, just, yeah. it's just for well, us. But so thing. as far as Twitter, we've all got Twitter, you know, handles. Subscribe to Twitter. Subscribe to our Facebooks, uh, YouTube's. There's Discord. tons of community. Yeah, we. I mean, there's tons of communication yep. going on uh, amongst the community, and we're building a small community. And not saying it's not going to get bigger. I hope it does, but. It's um it's a friendly community that people that enjoy scotch, bourbon, whiskey in general. And, Absolutely. Uh, um, oh, we'll give you, oh, we'll give you a reach around. <laughs> <laughs> but I have, Mark like loves that. that. Real oh, House, man. thanks for joining us tonight. Appreciate hey. you guys. Talk to you. Thank you, yes, everyone, guys. for joining, man. Talk to you guys. Thank soon. you, guys. We're out. Nice lunch, you dummies. <laughs> <Amazing>. That's good. <laughs>